Hey guys, so throughout this year, I have been talking about the Snapdragon 865 because it has been the most powerful non-Android CPU in phones and tablets. So whenever I've talked about a flagship Android phone in 2020, I've really been talking about the Snapdragon 865 being inside. And that's what's inside my Poco F2 Pro here. But the Snapdragon 865 Plus has arrived. So I'd like to just kind of talk quickly about the CPU and then just talk about some of the phones that are on the horizon, some of which are available for purchase. When they'll ship, that's a different story. But you can see the announcement here by Qualcomm. Qualcomm announces Snapdragon 865 Plus 5G mobile platform. Um, so this is all about the, the new CPU and they'll just kind of skip by some of this, but it says, with a full arsenal of Snapdragon Elite gaming premium features, it delivers desktop quality gaming. Uh, lightning speeds up to 144 frames per second. That's insane. True 10-bit HDR gaming as well to provide cinematic detail in over a billion shades. But if you go down to this part here, it says that the Qualcomm Cairo 585 CPU Prime clock speed up to 3.1 gigahertz and it's a 10% increase over the 865 and it's a 10% increase for the GPU as well. They've also got the Qualcomm Fast Connect 6900 uh, compatibility, boasting staggering Wi-Fi speeds up to 3.6 gigabits per second. Kind of across the board there, if you look at it, it looks like they've enhanced 5G and they have improved CPU and GPU performance by 10%. Now, 10% doesn't sound like a huge deal, but really this is a mid-year refresh. They're just kind of refreshing the 6, A65 that was released just a few months ago, earlier this year. But I've started to see a lot of phones being announced already. Uh, I saw this announcement about the upcoming Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro Plus, and the Xiaomi Mi 10 was, you know, definitely up there as one of the phones of the year. If you look at the reviews of its camera and its video, re video recording capabilities, etc. Um, according to a tweet by popular tipster Digital Chat Station, the Mi 10 Pro Plus could be launched next month. And it's going to have a 120 hertz OLED display running MIUI. It's kind of like the Poco Launcher kind of, kind of thing that I've got in that. Um, a 120 hertz OLED display. OLED, that's just going to look gorgeous. But it's got 60 watt charging. It's got the A65 Plus as well. It's going to be interesting to see what that is. My guess it's going to be $700, $800 or something like that. But um, Mr. Switch, who I've spoken about before, he messaged me about Hot UK deals because... There's actually a deal just now for the Lenovo Legion Pro 5G, and this has got the A65 Plus, 5,000 milliamp battery, NFC, 5G. But you can see the price here. Here in the UK, it works out at about £466.87, and it's on AliExpress. It does say, though, uh, you know, when you go to order this, it says estimated delivery 43 to 60 days. Whether you get that soon, sooner or not, I don't know, but it does seem to be good value. If you look at the specifications here, just forgetting about when it's going to arrive, etc. Um, I do think this is just a Chinese stock ROM right enough. It does say that here. Um, it's not a global ROM. Yes, it is. Uh, where is it? Yes, Chinese version, so not for the faint of heart. So you'd have to kind of root this yourself. But it does show you that you can get this for... £466, £467 or $578. And the reason there's a kind of hyphen there up to $1,000 is because of all the variations, 8 gigabytes, all the way up to 16 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes of storage. Um, and you can see the different versions there. Blazing Battle Gear, Dazzling Blue. I mean, this is a gaming phone. You can tell that by the way it's designed. These things are always designed for, you know, hyperactive teenagers that just want to play games all day. But... Looking at the specs there, it's really, really impressive. I mean, um, look at that AMOLED capacitive touchscreen, 6.65 inches, uh, I think it was 5,000 milliamp battery, uh, 1,080 by, by 2,340 pixels. There's your 144 hertz refresh rate and HDR10+. It, it's pretty impressive there. There's no card slot, but you've got a 64 megapixel and a 60 megapixel dual main camera. Now, a dual main camera doesn't really sell this phone, but this is a gaming phone, so... It really is no surprise, but those are the specs for that as well. Also saw that the upcoming uh, Snap, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 and S, uh, S7 Plus, this is all in German as you can see, but it does mention this having the Snapdragon uh, 865 as well, which if I search for it, it will be in the page somewhere. There it's here. Snapdragon 865, I think it's just for the Plus version. But yes, 
that it looks like Samsung's uh, Galaxy Tab range will use their CPU as well. Now the last one which I want to show you is the Asus ROG Phone 3. Now there's a couple of kind of reviews and early reviews of this already and again this is a gaming phone but it does have the new 865 Plus CPU and this thing is an absolute beast or as they're saying a monster. A monster 6000 milliamp battery, a 144 hertz 1 millisecond display that's insane. That's absolutely insane what this has got. I mean, this is a phone and it can have up to 16 gigabytes of memory. It's got a 3.1 gigahertz CPU clock, as we were saying earlier on, 5G storage up to 512 gigabytes as well. And um, this is one of the devices. You saw this with the other Asus ROG phones as well. Obviously, this is the third one. And this allows you to cool the phone whilst you're gaming, but also put in your headphones and charge it up at the same time. This is an addition. You will see some packages where they sell it, and um, you know you need to uh, the package. It will be packaged together, but other sellers might sell these accessories separately. But yeah, this is an absolute beast of a phone. Six point five nine inch AMOLED display. It's just insane what phones are doing now. It really is amazing. Um. Yeah, so you can see the, the connection port there as well. Dual front-facing stereo speakers. I'm always interested with these gaming phones because they don't always have the best cameras, etc. because that's not really what they're designed for, but they do really push performance. They introduce a lot of cooling features, etc. Um, but yeah, you can see this, you know, the other features there, 144 hertz and all that. Um, where's the camera? Yeah, triple camera, 64, 13, and 5, and then a single 24 megapixel camera. So... Yes, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to speak about all of these phones in detail. I just wanted to kind of preview the Snapdragon 865. And as the official announcement says, it looks like over the 865, which is in phones like this, and other phones that have been released over the last four or five months, you're going to get about a 10% boost. But they have also improved the Wi-Fi. They've also improved the 5G. And yeah, there's, there's a few other things that they have made more efficient. But what's interesting to me is that we're already seeing a lot of phones being available for pre-order or they're going to be released over the next month or two. So over the next few months, July, August, September, October, we might see a lot of Android phones being used with the 865. And that's what we'll see until next year when the successor to the 865, probably the 875, comes out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. I'll leave a link to all these pages so that you can check out yourself but please let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about this new CPU and these upcoming phones. Every one of them seems to be a monster and I suspect they will be expensive though like $700 to you know $1000 for the Asus ROG phone and the Mi 10 Pro Plus but as I showed you that Legion, that um, Legion Pro does seem to be available at a pretty decent price. It will be a mixed uh, bag. That's the most expensive version, by the way, that I've highlighted. $578. That will be a mixed bag, that one, because of, you know, the cameras and stuff. But it looks, from a performance point of view, that looks like an absolute monster. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, take care.